Um, what was I saying? Uh, okay. What are uh, talk to me? So talk to me about your your theology and and how it's how it's maybe transformed over the years from when you were a young man in this very building. Yeah. And 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 the man you are now. Well, I um, I was talking a little bit about how the um, the church uh, is like the theater, and that the congregation gathers around the word, and um, and that creates community, uh, mm-hmm. and uh, community is something that. Uh, is a double-edged sword in a way um, because uh, it, in the worst case scenarios it creates insiders and outsiders mm-hmm. but in the best case uh, scenarios it creates groups of people who feel responsible for not only each other but also the world outside mm-hmm. uh, so I'm very uh, the the social gospel <clears throat> was uh, was something that I lived with. You know, uh, when I was going to school, that was uh, uh, the period of uh, the, uh, the march marches, uh, mm-hmm. uh, the, the uh, civil rights in the states okay. period, um, and I. Could have got, been one of the Canadian theologues who uh, went down to Selma or wherever. Mm-hmm. Uh, I didn't, you know. Um, and I was uh, thinking about this just uh, the other day <coughs> because, in fact, I had to preach up there behind you in that pulpit. And uh, the uh, uh, the story was the story of the conversion of Saint Paul. Mm-hmm. Um, that Sunday. And uh, I focused in on this guy named Ananias who went to St. Paul after his Damascus Road experience when he was sitting there blind after having been uh, persecuting the Christians, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, and he, and uh, Ananias was told that he was to go and see this man. And he said, I don't want to go because this man has been killing my friends, my, my brothers, my, mm. my fellow disciples. Mm. Uh, so he was terrified, right? Mm. And, but he went anyway, you know? And I was saying to myself, this, I was thinking way back and how I didn't get on the bus and go to the States to, to protest, to march. Mm-hmm. Um, so it was a sermon to myself as much as it was to this, uh, this group of, uh, of my friends here at this church. Mm-hmm. Um, and I acknowledge that. But that so often we have these ways of uh, deferring our responsibilities. Mm-hmm. Everybody does. Yeah, we, we all do. Mm-hmm. Uh, we say it's not my problem, or we say it is my problem, but somebody else is better equipped. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, or uh, we, we say, uh, uh, I, I just don't have the time. I've got more important things to do. I've got like kids. Or I've got, kids, you know, I've got... Yeah. I've got uh, Solitaire to play on my computer. <laughs> yeah. But also, you have plays that you write that have a social consciousness that transforms people, and that that is something. I hope. I hope so. You know, but isn't that always a problem? Like with, uh, with these kids' plays, mm-hmm. um, I became concerned that they were sort of hit and run. Right. You know, you send them, like I, we, we talked earlier about how you uh, really didn't get involved with the community where your plays right. were being presented. Yeah. Um, often happens. So I did try to make 
uh, do some projects where uh, m we would get very involved mm -hmm. with the group. Like uh, even in Saskatchewan, we d did that a couple of times with. Uh, we created a high school show where we worked with the kids. Of, mm -hmm. um, ultimately, we sh we um, performed it with adult uh, professional actors, mm -hmm. but we had a, a wonderful workshop experience where the kids came up with the direction for the show, the, uh, for the play, the script. You know, yeah. Yeah. Um, so uh, so the the, the whole. A hit and run nature of of theater, I think, gives playwrights a bit of a problem. Uh, yeah. it's, there's a there's a little bit of a niggling feeling that uh, some of us have anyway. That uh, yeah, we've addressed this issue, mm -hmm. but it hasn't solved anything on kind of, any kind of universal scale. Mm -hmm. um, so why do we keep on doing it? You know. Mm -hmm. Well, I was going to say that, isn't that what uh, Augusta Boal confronts in his yeah. theater? Yeah. In the Theater of the Oppressed, which is some of the work that you do as well. Yeah. Yeah, he, uh, uh, he when he came here, uh, one of the things he was interested in was legislative theater, mm -hmm. because he had become, uh, in Rio, mm -hmm. one of the town councillors, hmm. um, which meant that he had, a, I mean, it's a huge city, and hmm. he had a big budget, and one of the things he did was, with his budget, was to create theater hmm. around the issues that the city council was facing, right. uh, and to explore this. So he would take his, his company out to uh, a neighborhood, and they would do a play, hmm. uh, a forum theater play, hmm. uh, there about that specific issue. Hmm. Uh, I, I have to say one of the things about working with Mixed Company is that uh, I write these scripts and uh, sometimes we, we do them over again and I come up with a more solid version of it from the one that I had written over the weekend, you know. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. so then, I, and then uh, maybe we do them again and uh, so this time the script has become very, very complete. Mm -hmm. And so I, I go to these performances and I watch the uh, watch my play, mm -hmm. and then we have the audience come up to take part and to to uh, sh to try different pr approaches uh, mm -hmm. that would make the the scene positive as opposed to negative. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, uh, so, and those are. I, I like that part of it a lot better than I like watching my play. <laughs> <laughs> I, it, because it's transformative. Yeah, That's what you're looking yeah, for. Yeah. But without your play, that couldn't happen. Yeah, without so, the yeah. story. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll tell you, though, that the, the worst part of writing a lot of forum theater plays is you're always writing the, the negative, the worst case scenario. Yeah. And so yeah. uh, it, it gets, uh, you, you can't just say, oh, Okay, but here's what I want the characters to do. I know, yeah, exactly, and, yeah. And if I were in this play, <laughs> yeah, this, this is, is what, what I would do. do. Yeah. You can't do that. You have, mm -hmm. to, you have to present the worst case. Mm -hmm. uh, but, uh, but the uh, ability with that technique of uh, the audience to work through issues is phenomenal. 